It's the Edelbrock 1404 500 CFM. We're going to do three pounds fuel pressure like we do even up to a 1250 dominator. Let me make something very, very clear for some false information going around. Guy called the other day and he wanted a 500 CFM AFB Carter. I told him that that's no longer made. They make a, I mean, excuse me, a 400. A 500 CFM. I told him that's no longer made. Now they make the Edelbrock, which is the same. He says, oh, I don't want the Edelbrock. He says, because every time they come out with a new model, they're all different inside. Let me tell you what. We've rebuilt Edelbrock since they began. Up until today, they have not changed inside. Same gaskets, same parts, same everything. They're a direct copy off the AFB Carter. Only thing different is, they've got a little thing there, just like taking a bicycle and taking a sticker off it and sticking another sticker on there. You could take that, take those two rivets out right there and put a AFB Carter sticker on there. You would never know the difference. So that is false information, but this is a sweet running carburetor. We, uh, we don't get very many of these things. With the 500 CFM, we get a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot and lots of 600s every day, every day, every day, every day. But we set them all the same. Mixture is the same. 11 and a half to 12 parts of one to air to gas. They're all the same. It doesn't make a difference in the atmosphere. If you're building a fire, whether it's built out of wood or kerosene, it takes so much air, so much fuel. In a car, it takes about 12 parts to air, one part to gas. We're going to wrap it up a few times and this video is done and ready to sell. Look at that beautiful powder coat finish.